What's up, y'all? Welcome to another channel of Machine Head Repair Project. Today's project that we'll be working on is this 2009 Nissan Murano. Today's project fixing the passenger door on this 2009 Nissan Murano. So a customer just purchased this vehicle and their complaints on this door it's not aligned correctly so as you can see on the passenger side it has a little it looks like fender bender on the side it's nothing major right here along the fender and then on the door there's right here there's some scrapes and then along to the passenger door you see some scrapes but our main concern is this door this is not aligned i mean it will close but it's you know it's not a line it's like somebody opened the door and hung on it and then now it's too low and let me demonstrate to you so when you open the door it drops it's not a line so somewhat somehow we're gonna have to take the, the fender off of the vehicle and uh, realign the door so it can be straight so right now, it's not aligned with the vehicle. But it will still close if you press in. And now it's aligned. Let me show you all close up. Doors open. It's not aligned, but when you press, slam the door or press in, it is aligned. So for that door project, uh, I mentioned that we're gonna have to take the fender off these latches right here That connects to the door to the uh, frame of the car the chassis uh, There's one here and then there's one down here Well, what we're gonna need to do is get in there take off the fender and there's gonna be uh, either 12 millimeter uh, bolts that we're going to need to loosen up and then straighten up the door and then tighten so it So on up. the crack of the door and the fender, you can actually kind of see it, but we will not be able to access it. If we were able to access through, access through this crack right here and loosen up and tighten it up, uh, that would be easy for us. But because we can't do that, uh, we're going to have to take the fender off. It's just better that way. And there's going to be two... 12 or 14 millimeter up here and then two down here Before I take the fender off I'm going to go ahead and remove this fender cover and if I can access those bolts from underneath here that would be great if not I will probably have to take the fender off and that's not no big issue so after removing the bumper to get to the fender now we got to access this top 10 millimeter bolts and to get to it there's a rubber cover here that we need to pry these plastic clips away <clears throat> and that's a total of four small little clips okay so we're going to tuck that underneath so it'll be out of our way there. So one, two, three. Uh, we're gonna take those 10 millimeter out. Next, we're gonna unbolt one, two, three. We're gonna take these bracket off. Tell the truth, I don't. I'm not really sure if we need to take those these two bolts off the bracket but we're going to go ahead and do it uh, if anything we'll just put it right back on if don't need it if, if if it doesn't need to be removed so with this bolt right here is also the fender and it's mounted to the headlight all right next we have this here just a reminder all these are 10 millimeters since we took this cover off we have this one 10 millimeter down here at the very bottom. And we're gonna go ahead and remove that one. So to make our work a little easier to remove the fender, 
um, we do have to loosen up the headlight. So we already removed here and here. And uh, so we got this one here. And one underneath the front. So this fender is a lot different. So under this, under the fender, you got one, two, three, three, four, five, 10 millimeter bolts that you have to remove on, uh, in the inner fender, fender to actually loosen the fender up. It's interesting that this fender is made this way. But uh, let's do that and then let's see if it gets loose. Right. So here's the inside of the fender. Usually the fender don't have all this extra stuff right here, but it was mounted down as you can see one, two. So these two and I loosened up a few other ones, uh, but it, I don't think it was needed. It was this part right here, but we can go ahead and mount that back down. But uh, this is what was keeping the uh, fender down and then it was stuck here with some silicone there so we're going to go ahead and lay this down so there was a bracket holding the fender here uh, that I thought was needed to remove but it, it, it didn't so I'm going to go ahead and bolt that back down it's 310 millimeter So when you take the fender off, or when we take the fender off, you have this inside the fender sitting right here. So now to work on the door. So like I said earlier, this door is not leveled evenly. Uh, someone must have like maybe hung on the door, so or whatever whatever accident they got into. Uh, it, it knocked it out of alignment so it's just by little not much but um, this top part seems like it needs to be raised up or pushed towards the front and uh, th to do that uh, are these bracket behind the fender like we mentioned so behind the door and the, the uh, fender you got these brackets here that we're gonna need, we're gonna try to loosen up and see if we can scoot it that way. So apparently, these are 13 millimeter. So let's go ahead and break this loose. And we're going to do it to the top and bottom. So right now, what I'm doing is, I'm breaking it loose, so when I shut the door, I can tighten it back up and it should level out.
once I've uh, loosened that bolt and then kept the door leveled and tightened it up, now the door is more leveled. Before we had to slam it to shut the door, now we can just barely push it in and now it closes. And that's how you level the door out. Uh, you can do this on pretty much most doors, not just this Nissan Murano. So any doors that's uh, on the line, that's how you would do it. Or the biggest trick is if you can hold a jack steady, put a jack stand or a jack, jack or a lift underneath the door without damaging the door and uh, lift the door up, but not too high to level this out. But that's usually how you would do it where the bracket is that holds onto the door to the chassis. So let's put the fender back on. So remember, when you're putting the fender back on, we need to put the support back on. And everything is bolted in by 10 millimeter. First, we'll put this one on. So it can hold it in place and we're not going to tighten everything down until the end we'll go ahead and put the bottom one in don't tighten everything in until the end we'll have two on top one two we got the two behind the headlight One, two, and now it is time to go ahead and tighten everything down. We'll start with the two inside. Then the two on top. Do the one on bottom and one on top. Now to put the headlight back on. So for the headlight, there's a total of four bolts. So the four bolts for the headlight will be one, two, three, four. So let's put the bolts in. One, two, three, four. All four of them are 10 millimeter. One, two, three. Four. Last and not least, we didn't need to take this off, but we did anyway. So we're going to go ahead and put it back in. And those were the bolts for the bracket on the fender. And those will look like this. 
So we'll go ahead and put them back in. One, two. After you've put the fender back on, now we're gonna to need to put the uh, this cover, uh, fender flare, or whatever, mud flaps, whatever you want to call it, back on. And uh, it's it has uh, a total of four screws. On these screws, you're gonna use a T20. Torque, rip, uh, torque screw or bit, and you're going to tighten them down. There's going to be three here and one underneath. Last thing you need to do when, after putting the fender on is putting the, this rubber cover back on. So, all it is is you got these little clips, and you're going to Pushing them, in, push them into the little hole that they uh, go into, and that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this video and hopefully it's been helpful. If you like this video, please don't forget to click the like button. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do that. If you have any comments or questions, please leave it down below. Till next time, Machine Head Repair Project is out.